A Catholic bishop is taking aim at St. Joseph's Hospital in Arizona, insisting it can no longer call itself a Catholic hospital because of a controversial decision by one of the nuns who works there. She approved an abortion, saying it was to save the mother's life, but the bishop called that the wrong choice. Dan Harris has the story. Doctors at St. Joseph's Hospital in Phoenix say their patient likely would have died of heart failure, killing her unborn child, too, were it not for the abortion. The decision was approved by Sister Margaret McBride, a longtime senior administrator at the hospital. When the local bishop, Thomas Olmsted, heard about this, he excommunicated McBride. On Tuesday, Bishop Olmsted went a step further, stripping St. Joseph's of its affiliation with the Catholic Church. Instead of treating the disease, St. Joseph's Medical Staff and Ethics Committee decided that the healthy 11-week-old baby should be directly killed. But the hospital CEO said that is not true. Our first priority is to save both patients. If that is not possible, we always save the life we can save. Today, we heard from people in the anti-abortion community who applauded Bishop Olmsted. That was a courageous, moral decision by Bishop Olmsted. But we also heard today from critics of the bishop, including some Catholics, as well as a slew of doctors who use words like frustrating, troubling, and horrible. Critics say this case exemplifies the problems of hospitals having religious affiliations. In fact, according to one recent survey, one-fifth of doctors who work at such institutions have had conflicts over religious policies. Dr. Deborah Stolberg conducted that study. My concern is that the Catholic directives can get in the way of doctors doing what they really think is best for their patients. As for the hospital in Phoenix, mass will no longer be allowed to be said here, but hospital officials insist nothing about this controversy will impact the quality of the care delivered. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.